their settings of a component from one model to another. Also, I will show you how to export a custom component from a model and then import it to another model. I am going to use custom component named L plate as my custom component and also I am going to use connection 1004 as the connection. So let's start. Go to connection 1004 double click and I have already saved some settings here so let me pick that up and then click load apply ok and then let me apply this to this and you can see the connection there now let me search for my custom component it's called L plate here it is so I select that I click on that one and it has put this custom cut if I double click this component you can see that component name is 1004 and the settings I used was X plus hold now let me go into the model folder go into the attributes folder and look for my settings you can see I already have a few settings for this component they all have a connection number there you can see 1004 1004 1004 and L plate X L plate Y offset 1 offset 2 these are the names which I have given but part of the file name is the component number which is 1004 All I have to do is copy these connections, copy, start a new model, go into the model folder, go into the attributes folder and then paste all that. Now these components should be available to me for 1004. Let's search for that. 1004 search and oh, nothing is available but once I reopen the model and then search you can see these items are available so if I take add one load by ok need a column and I can now apply the connection to this one you can see that the connection has appeared so that's all how you copy your component settings from one model to another model